warning. The reaction between polarized aluminium and the copper oxide is extremely violent. Proper safety protocols must be in place. Goodbye, mate. In previous video, I have shown you how to make iron-based ceramide and manganese-based ceramide. So today we are going to try something a little more interesting. For most type of ceramide, the reaction between them are not explosive, but uh, copper ceramide is an exception, and uh, we will find out just in a minute. To start things off, only two chemicals are needed. The aluminium powder was brought online and uh, the copper oxide was prepared by the thermal decomposition of copper sulfate. I will leave a link in the description as soon as I have it uploaded. Here we have 11.7 grams of copper oxide from the last experiment. After some simple calculation, about 4 grams of aluminium powder is needed for the reaction. Just like what I did in the previous videos, the two components are transferred into a zipper bag and uh, to be mixed thoroughly. Now comes the fun part, to light it on fire. As usual, the thermite is initiated by using a piece of magnesium ribbon. Wow, that was pretty spectacular. Well, what happened there was the aluminium reacts with the copper oxide to form aluminium oxide and the metallic copper. Copper is a relatively unreactive metal, it requires less energy to be reduced to its elemental state. The excess energy from the reaction converts into heat, which boils the copper to its gas phase. And there we have an explosive reaction. Let's watch it again in slow mode. pretty fun, but it is only fun when you can do it safely. In that case, I kind of fucked up there. Well, there goes my $300 GoPro camera. The metal spark from the reaction was so hot that melted land and stuck there. God damn it. Well, that's all I have for this video. If you want to keep update of this channel, you can follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.